All right, so at sea level, atmospheric pressure is 14.5 pounds per square inch. Uh, for each additional 1,000 feet below sea level, atmospheric pressure increased by about uh, 439 pounds per square inch. Which of the following equations gives the approximate atmospheric pressure P in pounds per square inch at h feet below sea level? Um, so at sea level, uh, we are starting out at 14.5, uh, and this is PSI, stands for pounds per square inch. But then it tells us that for each additional 1,000 feet below the sea level, the um, atmospheric pressure, and that's that the atmospheric pressure, that is the PSI, right? Atmospheric pressure. That's the PSI. That increases by about 439 pounds. So which of the following equations gives the approximate atmospheric pressure uh, P in pounds per square inch at h feet below sea level? So we need to be able to translate um, this statement, whereas it's for each additional 1,000 feet below sea level, the uh, atmospheric pressure increases by about 439 pounds per square inch. So the way that would get translated is that it's a slope effectively because we're saying that we're going to go plus 439 PSI for every 1,000 feet of depth and that's an increase in depth. Um, so they tell us here that um, h feet below sea level, so our equation should end up looking like starting value, 14.5 PSI, plus 439 over 1,000 times h. The reason is times h because h is in feet, so if we think of uh, our unit conversion here, feet are going to cancel feet and then we're left with the unit of PSI and see how we're adding we're going to basically be adding PSI because we started at 14.5 PSI so we have to add PSI and PSI together so back to our full equation this should ultimately um, equal our pressure which is P and I think the only thing that we had to do really once we have translated that is sort of see that that's simplified. Um, so that's going to end up being like 14.5 plus, we move it over three decimal places, 0 0.439 H equals P. And uh, looks like C is going to be our answer.